grew up in a Muslim family. And the parents, they were not really strict Muslim. But I became a very, very, very strict Muslim because of the thirst and the hunger that I had for creator of the whole world. And I used to think that his name is Allah because that's what I heard from my family member. And I really strongly used to believe that he is the only way. His name is Allah. And I strongly believed all of his rules. And even in my wildest imagination, I couldn't even imagine that that's not true. I believed it 100% with all of my heart that I really have to do good thing to go to heaven. If I don't, I will go to hell. But I always had a love for God. I really wanted to get to know Him. And I start to buy some Islamic books, start to read them. Actually, Muslim leader, they told me that if you read Quran over and over and over again, you get extra credit. If you wake up so early in the morning and read Quran over and over, that will really give you extra credit. And I would just, you know, read Quran over and over and over again to get credit. But I nev that never made me closer to God. But I always was so hungry and thirsty and desperate to get to know God. For more than 12 years of my life, 10, 12 years I can't remember, but between 10 to 12 years of my life, I was pursuing God, but I couldn't have a close relationship with Him. Then I gave up. I was so angry. I went to this hotel in Cyprus and in the lobby I saw this book stand. I got closer and I saw his Bible and I had, a, I had a desire just to read it and I asked the guy, I said, can I, have, can I read the Bible, can I just read it, borrow it? He said, you can have it. That shocked me. I said, you want to give it to me? He said, yes. He signed the Bible, he gave it to me. Then I went to my room and I started to just to read the Bible and the word just Jesus was just, just, it was like popping out of the Bible, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I think it was my third night that I was reading the Bible. The Bible said Jesus is God himself also, you know, because he's the son of God. That made me so angry. And I threw the book, the corner of the wall. I said, you know, this book was corrupted because most of them, they believe that Bible being corrupted. And I didn't touch the Bible for three years. No one ever told me anything about Jesus. I never heard anything. And after three years, I went to this school and my teacher started to talk to me about Jesus. And she started to tell me about love of Jesus and blood of Jesus, that Jesus' blood can forgive you and you receive forgiveness through the blood of Jesus and God is love. And I couldn't relate that God is love because I never received love from God. I was a slave of God, that who he didn't want even to talk to or respond to. And I really, it was in my wildest imagination, I couldn't believe God is love. It didn't make sense to me. Man. One night as I was just talking to one of her friends, I felt in my heart, very deep down inside, that I need to pray to Jesus. I said, how can I pray to Jesus? And she said, salvation prayer, which is, you say that Jesus, I receive you as the Lord of my life. I accept your forgiveness and I believe that you are the Son of God. But I was uncomfortable with that. I couldn't say. I wanted to be honest. You know, I want to, after 12 years of my life being after God, I got to the place that I said, you know what, I need to be honest. I said, can I pray with my own language? She said, yes. Because when I was Muslim, my language was different. I had to pray in Arabic. I wanted to make sure that if it's okay to pray with my own language. She said, yes, you can pray with your own language. I started to pray and I was so honest with God. I felt I should be honest with Jesus. I said, Jesus, I don't believe that you are the Son of God. I really don't. But if you are the Son of God, I want you to come to my heart. I don't believe that your blood has any power to forgive my sin at all. But if your blood has any power to forgive my sin, I accept it. If you can build a relationship between me and the God who created the whole world that you claim that He is your Father, of course I invite you to come to my heart. I give you full permission to do anything you want to do with my heart from this moment on. I went to church after that prayer. 
I felt that I should go. I didn't go to church as a Christian. Still, I went to church as a Muslim. But the Muslim who was so disappointed of God, broken heart, I went as a broken hearted, you know. I went to church, but I felt so good. The whole atmosphere, it was feeding me. I was crying, you know, just tear was just going down. But it was a good kind of feeling or good kind of crying. It wasn't sad. And at the third time that I went to church, <sighs> that day I was a little bit late. I had to go and sit in the very first row of the church. This big church, four or five thousand people. I was so uncomfortable to sit in the very first row, but the usher told me that follow me, I had to follow him. And we couldn't find any seat. We went to the very first row of the church. And that was the place that I met Jesus. Again, pastor was talking and preaching. I really couldn't understand his preaching because I didn't have any knowledge of Bible. And I was just sitting there, looking around, a little bit bored. And I saw a man standing behind pastor. I could see the thickness of the air. I started to look at him and then he started to walk. And that really got my attention. I asked myself again, I said, who is this? A voice inside of me said, Jesus. And I laughed at that voice. I said, huh. And as soon as I said this, he walked inside of me physically. I took a very deep breath and this fire just came all over me. Physically, I was on fire. My whole body was on fire. And something just touched my heart. I could see this hand came and just touched my heart. And I was just weeping and I was just crying and crying and crying. And my body physically was on fire. And this heat was just coming out of me. And I started to cry, but then she was so excited. She said, now do you believe that Jesus is Son of God? I said, no, I don't. She said, why not? Now I said, now I believe that Jesus lives and he came to me personally. But Son of God, he need to convince me that he is the Son of God. And I saw again Jesus so far into heaven and he was right, standing in the right side of the throne. And he started to pour his spirit all over me. And it felt so good, and it felt so good, and it felt so good. And he convinced me, without saying anything, I was convinced. It's like my heart knew he was the Son of God. And I was just saying, oh my God, yes, he's the only way. He's the only way. I, all of a sudden I realized, and what happened, I jumped, I got my energy back. No one invited me. I went to the altar. I, I ran to the altar, I got to my knee, and I started to worship Jesus and I bow down to Him. And it was the most, one of the most beautiful moments of my life. This humongous peace came out of me. I was walking with peace. And I had so much love from the Lord. But the, I think for my life, it was the highlight was peace. I never had peace before. And I, I was, it's like I was swimming inside of peace. If you don't have peace, if you don't really have joy, if you're not really sure that we will go to heaven, and if you never ever receive any love from God, try Jesus. Because He will give you love, He will give you joy, He will give you peace. You don't need to believe us as a Christian. You go to Himself. You go to Jesus. He will show up in different ways, sometimes through dream. But the result is love, peace, joy. That's the result. If I die today, I know He is waiting there for me and I'm going to jump into His heart. So I know that I don't need to be a good person to jump into His heart. He's waiting there. But if I get the chance to live 30, 40, 50 years, I know my heart will be more clean. That doesn't make me a righteous person. My heart will be more clean. Then I can see more of His beauty. The more our heart gets clean, the more we can receive His love. You know? But if I die today, I know I'm not going to say, Oh, Jesus, you're so holy. I'm going to jump on His shoulder. You know? I'm going to jump. You know? I'm going to dance with Him. I'm going to jump. I'm go because He's my closest friend. And can our Muslim friends say, If I see God, I'm going to jump to His lap? I know it's hard to give up of all of your belief because it's so familiar. Everything that is so familiar, it's easy. 
You, you did it over and over again, and there is comfort into it. But if you don't have peace, go ahead and change it. Let Jesus come and turn your world upside down and introduce himself to you as love.